For you, I've told you before, I love Inside the NBA. I think you guys Thank just you. have the best chemistry, Thank maybe, you. of any show on television. Shout out to All er great. Shout out to Ernie and Kenny. Ernie and Kenny. No shout out to Shaq? <laughs> shout out to Shaq. <laughs> you guys had a conversation last week that was among the best ever, and in Indianapolis, the Pacers were playing the Clippers, and there was a bat in the arena. Yes. And you maintained that a, a bat, bat is a bird. A bat is a bird. Let's take a look at that. Clip. Bird Thank you. Thank you. Right. There is a big difference. There's between no a bat difference between a bat and a, and a bird. bird. Let's let a bird pop <laughs> in. A bird and a bat are the same thing. No, they are not. <laughs> I know. Do you, are you standing by? I'm standing by that. You are standing by yeah, that. No, yeah, no, listen, a bird, a bird and a bat are the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing by that. But a bird has a beak and a bat doesn't have a beak. And bird, bats are hairy and birds have feathers. They're all in the same family. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't got nobody hairy in your damn family? Well, everybody. <laughs> Come on. My grandmother was hairy. <laughs> yeah, you guys have great conversations. Oh, we just have fun. When Shaq was here last time, he said that when he goes to a restaurant, he asks the waitress how much, or waiter, how much he would like her to tip. And then whatever amount they say, that's what he will tip. Have you ever seen that happen? Hell no. <laughs> he, does, he doesn't tip like that. I he mean, doesn't. I mean, you're talking about the same guy. We were doing a tribute to uh, <laughs> John Glenn when he passed away, and Chuck says, "I want to closer to the moon or L.A." And we say, like, "What do you mean, closer to the moon or L.A?" He says, "When you walk outside, you can see the moon, but you can't see L.A." <laughs> uh, and yeah. So it's got to be closer to the moon. This is the guy I work with. <laughs> he thinks it's closer to the moon than L.A. because you can see the moon when well, you walk outside. Well, he is outside. very tall, so maybe to him it is actually hey, closer. Hey, he's, hey, listen, listen, I love the guy, but he's no rocket scientist. <laughs> he's no rocket scientist. You don't love the, these super teams like the Golden State Warriors, like these teams where the guys are friends and they all kind of, they make their own team. You're against that. I hate that because, number one, I think that sports are about competition. You just do the best you can and you live with the ramifications. But what I think happens is I don't think it's fair for small market teams. You know, the, the fans, they, first of all, all the players are making a gazillion dollars, God bless them. But I don't think it's fair for fans to pay three, four hundred dollars for tickets and their team is no good. I just don't think that's great for the game. But it's just the way it works is some of the teams can't be good because unless everybody wins exactly the same amount of games, in which case no well, one Well, if all the guys didn't play together, it would be a lot more parity, though. That's true. Yeah. They're so, and, and listen, I think all fans want is my team not to stink up the joint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, like, uh, we're right now, we're in February, and, you know, most of the teams are out of it. And I just don't think that's good for the overall games. Listen, I just want competitive balance. Bless all these guys. They can make as much money as they want to. But I try to tend to look at the big picture. Mm -hmm. I want Milwaukee. They're great this year, Giannis. But I want Detroit. Uh, I want Orlando. I want Atlanta. I want Sacramento. It used to be they couldn't win the championship, but they were worth going to see. Do and you that, think that, LeBron will uh, win a title with the Lakers? That's, a, that's too hard of a question. It just depends on what they're able to bring in. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're obviously trying to get Anthony Davis. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a this going to be probably the most interesting summer in NBA history because you have four teams that have two max slots available, the Lakers and the Clippers, and you got the Knicks and the Nets. We got four teams that can afford two max slots. In the two players. biggest markets. In the yeah. two biggest markets. Yeah. Uh, but the negative that is who don't get those players, their team's going to stink. Yeah, right. Uh, or if those guys lead those other teams, their team's going to stink. And at some point, the owner's going to say they've had enough. That's what guys are going to have to worry about. Is sometimes these guys are billionaires. You don't want to piss off billionaires. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at what happened with Jeff Bezos. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stop it, Jimmy. Yeah, I'm just stopping right now. Stop it. It's great to see you. Thank hey, you for being here. Hey, the great Charles Barkley. Thanks for Barkley. having me. Uh, watch NBA All Star 2019 on TNT all weekend long. I am Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.